Welcome to Chesterfield College. My name's Hayley Seward. And my name's Matt Pearson. We're here to sort of tell you a little bit more about our thinking environment experience within our organisation and how it supported culture change and creativity within teaching and learning and within management. That's right. We're focusing on the 10 key components and how that's enhanced the daily lives of our lecturers, teaching staff and management. Our principle is a key driver for positive change and innovation at Chesterfield College. So let's hear their view on how the thinking environment has helped unlock our staff's finest thinking. Hi, I'm Julie Richards and I'm the Principal and Chief Executive of the Chesterfield College Group. Thinking environments have changed the way that we operate as an organisation. Having everyone in the room together, no hierarchy, everyone with a voice, everyone contributing has really changed the way that we operate across the organisation. Particularly when we have a particular problem or a new idea, it gives everyone a chance to contribute and it's really taking our organisation forward. Hello, my name's Hannah Woolgar. Um, I'm a beauty therapy lecturer here at Chesterfield College and I'm also on my second year of teacher training. Um, my question is... What experience have you had with a thinking environment? Um, so, uh, as part of my teacher training, I've uh, been part of thinking environments. Um, this allows me to do my best thinking and to allow myself um, to listen to other opinions of others um, quite intently. Um, and what impact did this have uh, on myself? So, I've actually been able to use thinking rounds in my own teaching practice, um, allowing students to be able to um, think about what they want to achieve from their course at the end. Oh, no, I need so I'm Aidan, Sport Public Services. Um, I've done thinking environments in some team times with the sport group, um, things around triangles and how to increase teaching practice. So my experience, like I said, we've done a few, so I think we've done two or three in the last couple of months. Um, just going around the group, seeing what our uh, thoughts are. The impact it has, it's, it's good to sort of have your own voice just for a couple of minutes because a lot of the time the teachers are pretty much on the shop floor when it comes to working with students. So if we can get their advice, get we, what we think and sort of give our ideas to other people, um, it, hopefully it makes an impact on the college and it gives them some more ideas that maybe um, uh, people that aren't in teaching that often in their roles, they might not think of some things. Um, so it might be a little bit different for them. Hi, I'm Adam, one of the tutors here at Chesterfield College. I have a split role teaching on the sixth form department with the post 16 year olds. And I also am a fractional lecturer in human biology with the access to HE students. Okay, so what experiences have you had with a thinking environment? I've had only positive experiences with the thinking environment. We've been doing them since I started here in July. They have been really useful in finding my voice as a newly qualified tutor, especially being in an office with a lot of experienced older teachers and tutors. Having that moment to be able to reflect, evaluate and discuss our teaching and our practice has been really good, especially in like a more creative, cooperative environment. This has had a really positive impact on my personal practice and my professional practice, especially looking at the responsibilities of a modern day tutor with the change in society. And I believe being able to share these experiences with my fellow tutors within the thinking environment has been really beneficial. Thank you. Hello. I'm Jackie Rosser and I work at Chesterfield College and I'm wondering what question I've got in this box. So what experience have you had with a thinking environment? I'm really lucky because I've had loads of experiences with thinking environments. Um, I was privileged to work with Lou Mycroft and Nancy Klein who trained me in how to use thinking environment. And since I've been working with Chesterfield College, I've used thinking environments in team meetings, 
sector and meetings at a senior level with the principal and the executive directors. I've also used them in training sessions and teaching and learning sessions as well. We've used them to we use thinking environment to make decisions, to get creative, to solve problems and to explore lots of new ideas and I think it's really helped us inform the strategic direction of the college as well as all the really important things that go on the ground when we're working with students. Um, there's another question here which is what impact has thinking environments had on you? <sighs> there's just not enough time really to explain that. It's had a massive, massive impact on me. I think using thinking environments has really helped me. Um, it's given me time and space to think more deeply and more creatively and more clearly about the decisions that I have to make. I think in addition to that, that by doing that, it's helped me use thinking environments in my interactions with other people. And I think I've seen a difference there. I think one of the biggest things that I've noticed is when we've been using thinking environments, people don't interrupt each other. And that sounds like a small thing, but people are better behaved around one another. They listen more, they listen more carefully. And that has made people work better together. They treat each other with more respect. Right, I'm going to throw this back now. Appreciation. Offer a genuine acknowledgement of your qualities, practicing an appropriate ratio of appreciation to challenge. Attention. Listen with respect, interest and without interruption. Diversity. Welcome divergent thinking and diverse group identities. Ease. Be comfortable with the pace that you choose to set. Welcome silence and don't rush people. Encouragement. Encourage you to go as far as you want to with your thinking. Equality. Assume that you and I are equal as thinkers. Feelings. Give you space to show your feelings and time to resume your thinking afterwards to find new solutions. Incisive questions. Ask questions that will enable your thinking to break free and that will encourage you to be brave and remove limiting assumptions. Information. Encourage you to supply the facts when you are ready, formulating questions that will help you to dismantle denial. Place. Create a physical environment that clearly says you matter. Hi, so you've heard from the boots on the ground and real impact there from how they've used it and, and how they've been part of thinking environments to uh, change culture and creativity within our organisation. Let us know how it works for you, what your organisation does with the thinking environment and how it might enhance your learning and your teaching. Follow us on Twitter and keep us updated. Thank you. Thank you.